Hi there, this is Peggy to a Stamp Girl here on YouTube and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to share with you the cards I made for the Fancy Fold card collab. This is hosted by Jerry who is Crafty Stash here on YouTube and myself. So this month I've been seeing a lot of cards on YouTube, especially from Stamp Stampin' Up! demonstrators that are using this fold of card and I decided to go ahead and make make my own version. Now this is a eight and a half by eleven inch card. You score at five and a half and you score at four and a quarter. And depending which way you want your card to fold, you remove one of those sections completely. And then you remove a little bit from the section that's going to fold in. So for this example I removed about a quarter of an inch from here and here and even a little bit from here. And that way it will fold in without causing a lot of bulk right on your fold line and nothing will hang over the edge. Now you can certainly do your card this way too where it folds down and over. So however you want to orient your card, that's fine. Just remember to score in both directions on a full size sheet, remove one section, and trim down the other section as you see fit. Now, I did mine a little bit differently because as I was searching through my stash, I found some pre-made note cards that were just a little bit smaller than a regular size card. And so I went in my stash and I found matching cardstock. So this is some paper I had in my stash. I had one sheet of this left and one sheet of this left. I don't remember what paper pad it came from, but I absolutely love the paper. It's heavy weight, it's glossy, it's single sided, and it's just gorgeous. So I didn't um, take the time to add any sentiments to the front. I don't think it needs any embellishments because the paper is so beautiful. But let me show you what I did. So I cut a red card base, just a regular five and a half um, by four and a quarter card base. And then I had these red um, note cards in my stash where the front part of the note card was already scalloped and a little bit shorter than the background. So I just glued that note card into my card base. So the rest of the note card is under this black layer. Then I just matted the papers with black to make the colors pop. Decorated both sides of the flap that folds in and also matted the place where you're going to stamp or write a sentiment. So that's one card. This other one is made exactly the same way. I had a craft colored note card with that fancy scallop uh, front flap and just put it into the card base. Just trimmed a little bit away so that it wouldn't interfere with the fold line decorated both sides with a black layer and some of that gorgeous pattern paper and then a black layer and white for writing on. So there is my card. So you can easily make it from one sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock and just do some trimming after you score in both directions. Or if you have some smaller note cards you can glue them inside a regular card base and achieve the same the same look. So those are my two cards that I want to share with you this month. I want to thank you for joining me. Please check out Jerry's channel and see what creative fun folds she found for this month. And now I'm off to create.